Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is Arif. In this video, I am going to show you how we can compile and run simulations using Quartus without a test bench. And in order to do that, first I am going to show you how we can perform this thing using a system very low code. And then I am going to show you how we can do the same thing using a BITL code. So let's go to start and open this quarter software. So after it opens, click here new project. next here we are going to select a folder where we are going to place our project files so go to this folder and select here i have already created a folder so i can select this folder click it and here we are going to give the top modules name of our project since i am going to do this compile and simulation stuff using an adder so i can write here adder next next and here we can add files to our project since i have already placed my system very low code inside a system very low file so i am going to just add that file so this is the file where i have written my full letter code just a very low code click open click next click next again here we can select system very low option click next and click finish So now our new project has got created the file we can see from here file open and select this file click open so this is the system very low code for our full adder we have two outputs three inputs and this is the way we are going to get our sum and carry so this file is already saved so let's start compilation first click here double click on compile design so this is going to take two to three minutes once our compile design is going to finish and we can see all the green ticks here now since we are not going to use a test bench for our code to do the simulations we can go to file new and here we have to select university program bwf click ok and here we are going to give the waveforms as an input to our program so that we can do the simulations this is the simulation waveform editor which we use to do the simulations without a test bench i mean rtl test bench so go to edit first of all set the end time so we can do the simulations for 10 nanoseconds Select here nanoseconds, click OK. Go to edit again, and now we can set the grid size, and we can say grid size should be 1. 
nanosecond the partitions of our simulation and now we can go to edit again and we can insert our nodes insert insert node or bus go to node finder click here list click here to select all the nodes and transfer those to this portion now click ok click ok and now we can see all the inputs and outputs which are added to this window now one more thing we can do we have to click here click here count value and we can place here one nanoseconds now click on the second input again click on count value and select here now two nanoseconds and go to the third input again count value and count every four nanoseconds now we can see our all the combinations 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 all the eight combinations of our inputs are there on this window right now now we have to go to simulation simulation settings first we have to change the settings here instead of this no warp We have to remove this no warp and place here this one warp arcs equal to plus acc press save so this step if we are not going to do we are going to see an error once we are going to run the functional simulation so once we have done this step go to simulation run functional simulation and it is going to ask us to save the changes we are going to save this waveform window to our project as well and after that simulation flow progress is going to start and it is going to say it is generating a test bench and a net list So this is the way we can generate a test bench instead of writing a RTL test bench in a very low code. So now we can see the corresponding inputs and the outputs after the simulation. So we can see 0, 0 is going to give us carry 0, sum 0, 1, 0, 0 is going to give us carry 0, sum 1 and same way we can see all the 8 combinations according to our input. So this is the way we can run the simulation if we don't have a RTL code written in Verilog to do the simulations and we can use this waveforms. Close this, close this window and in the files we can see another file as well. So our project has two files, one is system Verilog file in which our Verilog code is written and the other one is this waveform.bwf where we can run those simulations using this file so this is all about system very low code now i am going to show you how we can do the same thing using the bidl code so we can close this project and we are going to see the same window again so click here new project wizard next Select here a folder for your project. So I have already created a folder for this BIDL project. So I am going to select this folder. Click select. Here I am going to give the name of my top identity in my design that is adder. Click next. Click next. 
and here I am going to add the file where my VHDL code of a full adder is written. This is the adder file which is in the same folder I have placed. Let this one open. Next. Next. Here we are going to select BHDL option simulation and then click next and click finish. So if we want to open our file, we can go here, select the files option and we are going to see our file which we have added. And this is the VADL code for a full adder. So it has three inputs and two outputs here. And then in the architecture, we are saying, actually let's remove this. First of all, we don't need this begin and we are going to use these two code lines to calculate our sum and the carry and let's save this file and now I am going to first of all compile this design so double click here on this compile design So after two or three minutes, our compile design is going to get finished and we are going to see all the green ticks here, which you can see. And now we can go to file, then new, and then we are going to go and select here this option, university program VWF. We are going to click OK. So we are going to see this simulation waveform editor here we are going to go to edit and then we are going to set the end time for our simulation first of all 10 nanoseconds we can choose press ok then we are going to go to edit again we are going to now select the grid size and then we are going to say select here one nanoseconds press ok then we are going to go to edit again insert insert node and here we are going to press here node finder press list and then we are going to press this to select all the nodes and we are going to transfer those to this place then we are going to press ok Press OK and we are going to see all of our inputs and outputs on this window. And now what we can do is we can click on one of the inputs. We can go here, count value, and we can choose here in one nanoseconds. Press OK. We are going to go to second input. Go here, count value and we are going to select here two nanoseconds now now we are going to go to ci third input we are going to go to count value and set here four nanoseconds and now we are going to see all the three waveforms and these three waveforms are going to give us our eight combinations for our three inputs and those are the all which we need we go to the simulation tab again simulation settings we are going to again remove this no opt from this script just this word we are going to remove and use this one save and now we are ready to run our functional simulation save changes and we are going to save this from vwf file into our folder same folder 
where we have placed our VIDL code, design code file, the RTL code. So now we can see our waveforms simulation is complete. We can see all the three combinations of our three inputs, the eight combinations and the corresponding outputs. So this is the way we can generate a test bench if we don't want to write a test bench in VHDL in the RTL fashion. We can use this waveform.vwf file to create our waveforms and then we can run the simulation using Verilog and VHDL both. Thank you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Have fun.